Got us a little project, uh, AV Boys, Tony. We're gonna change the the rack and pinion. It's no good. So I'm gonna do a quick little video on that, a little how-to for the Fox guys. So the first thing that I did is counted how many turns it took to get from each side to each side, and I got it in the center. This rack was three turns, so I turned it all the way to where the one was all the way out, and then I counted one, two, three, and then I divided that in two, so one and a half turns, and that way the rack's in the center. Then we'll get all this stuff apart. We'll undo this line, this line here, and we'll let some of the fluid drain out, and then once we get up in here, there's gonna be more fluid come out, uh, but we'll put a bucket, whatever we gotta do to let that drain down. Then we will get back in here and get the rag joint apart and get the rack and pinion off. But before we get started, we're gonna take the negative cable off. That way it'll allow us to have the key on inside the car, but have the steering wheel centered. Half inch. Might be stuck in there like that, so. Gently get you a screwdriver and pry this open. Right. Now I'll start disassembling this. We'll take the cotter pins off, knock these loose, both sides, and then we'll start draining the fluid out of here. All right, next we'll pull these out. This is an 18 millimeter, and the one on the back is a 15. Next, you need a 12 point so that you can pull this thing out. And then once we, once we get the lock off, we can push this whole shaft up in here and, and get this off of the snout here. And that one is a 7 16 12 point. And for the through bolt that goes through there, you've got to pull it all the way out. And you can just tap on this a little bit and then tap on this and it'll go inside the column. All right, now that we have this line off, that line is going to stay on and so is the other one. But we're going to go up here take the line off up there and then I don't know about on a V8 but on a four cylinder car we've got to get sorry for that won't focus undo that bolt and then we'll just pull that whole line out and pull the whole steering assembly out after you or before either or you're gonna to have to undo this uh, connector that goes to the line that we unscrewed from here before it'll come out Okay, you guys, it's the next day, and the rack that, that Tony got for the Mustang was not correct, and we had a hard time finding a rack locally without having to wait. So the tie rod on the uh, passenger side, I think, was bad, so we replaced the tie rod, and then I'm going to put this thing back in. The steps are just the opposite. I'll put you on a time lapse and put this thing back in.
All right, so put the steering rack back on and you may have to adjust the tie rods like this one, the driver's side was good, the passenger one, I got it together and it needed to go out a little more. So I got to push, push that one out a little more and then I'm going around right now and uh, these were a little loose, the bearings, plenty of grease still in there, but I'm gonna tighten these up a little bit and it's ready to go.